And it's National Smoothie Day, and we're celebrating in a big way with Smoothie King. They're here to make a special smoothie for us. Tim Mead joins me today. So, Tim, thank you so much for coming out and bringing out these smoothies. You definitely went overboard. My pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> all right. So, how do we get where do we get started? You've got all kinds of different flavors here, but I know we're also going to make one. So, where do you want to start with those or this? Uh, we can just start. I brought uh, just various samples for made for the crew to try. Okay. Uh, but we can just go ahead and start this if you like and right. get one made. Okay. So this is the blueberry. This is our. It's called the activator in the store, okay. and this is the stu uh, strawberry blueberry version okay, of it. Okay. Strawberry and blueberry. Okay. So we have some organic whole blueberries here. Okay. Oh, I hope I don't get any on you. <laughs> Good thing I'm wearing black today. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got some pureed strawberries here. Yes, ma'am. They're pre-sliced. It makes us easier for us to portion them to okay. get greater consistency. Okay. Makes sense. All right. All right. I have a little pre-measured coconut water. Okay. Ah, okay. that's a good trick. Coconut yeah. water. And this is some of our protein blend. It's called Gladiator. Okay. Uh, now, is this um, sort of like a meal replacement, or could you use it as a meal replacement? With this would protein? be an excellent meal replacement okay. smoothie post-workout. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the coconut water and the fruit ingredients, it's also very light and refreshing. Very, very versatile smoothie. It smells amazing. Right. And also, just for a little kick, we're going to use some of our Recharge Enhancer. Okay. Does that have a certain flavor to it? Yeah, a little bit of a fruit flavor. Okay. Uh, it, it does have some caffeine content. It's derived from green coffee beans, so it's a natural source of energy. Nice. No crashing. Tastes great. Okay. Great. Then we're going to add a little ice to it. Now, how much ice is too much ice? Sometimes I make mine at home and I feel like I'm just, it's just too icy. But maybe mm -hmm. it's just that I'm not blending it all the way. You've got a make, fancy. Making <laughs> smoothies at home, the blender makes the difference. Okay. Okay. If you're using a normal strength home blender, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're going to fight the ice. Then. <laughs> I would almost suggest going with maybe frozen fruit okay. uh, to take, uh, to be the frozen part of it. And let it just go that way. Uh, where in the store we can use uh, defrosted fruit mm -hmm. and a little bit of ice because the blenders are just so much stronger. Okay. All right. All right. You want now, me to go ahead and I know it? we're going to blend this up, but before we blend it, just so those at home can hear us, you guys, the goal is to give away a million smoothies. Yes, we have a great promotion today on National Smoothie Day. Our loyalty members okay. come in today, you buy a smoothie. And you get uploaded that you can use tomorrow through next Thursday a free smoothie up to six dollars. Awesome. The company why we're hoping to give away a million twenty ounce smoothies. That's awesome. Okay, well then let's hit this and let's get to making our smoothie. Oh my gosh, looks so good. We're gonna continue on the celebration of National Smoothie Day with Bahama Bucks just after the break. So